I'm starting to think that being around Stockholm is uh, rubbing off on me. Because I'm looking a little bit more orange than usual. Uh, this tree over here, I think, has uh, been causing some problems for me. But uh, it, it's fine. Uh, hi, I'm Cece, and welcome back to episode of Minecraft 1. whatever number SMP. I am here outside of my thingy me bob, the this wonderful building that I can't remember the name of, and uh, I've got a new camera mod. What weird spots in the bottom of my chin. Uh, yeah, I've got a new uh, camera mod, and I'm just messing around with it. Oh, hello. It's a bit strange to control myself from like a second person view. And get real close to you though, make you all uncomfortable. Oh, inside my head. Hello. Let's do, let's do the intro from here. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Stockholm is having some negative effects on me, so I think I want to do some stuff away from here. And I've been doing a lot of work off screen on the rail system, and I have connected up my base to a new area, which is where I want to focus on today. So let's see if I can figure out how to get this camera mod turned off, and then I'll head over there. So, on my approach to this new junction, uh, I have an area planned. Oh, oh I missed a turn. Yeah, so I have built up a, a rail line through the direct center of spawn. Like, if I put my F3, it should be near enough zero. So that direction over there is that is yeah my camp from right at the start of the season hello a tree just grew uh this is my camp from the start of the season and then up that way is a junction and then it, on the left it goes Stockholm is just over there so what i want to do here is i want to build up a tree farm because i i i want wood but Stockholm is a bit small for entire tree, like, lots, or whatever you call tree farm. What, what is a tree farm called? A, a lumber? No, it's not lumber yet. Like, an orchard, I guess. Uh, yeah, so I've got this long rail going through the middle here, which if I just take now, I'll give you a, a look of what the area is. So it's just through this big, dense... Uh, Mega Tiger. Uh, eventually we'll go past this little river over here. And then... Forward here. We'll go through the hill and then you'll reach an area you hopefully will recognise. Head through this little tunnel I made and we'll end up over at Fennec. And I've built up a new roundabout here, which will automatically send you into Fennec if you're coming from the tree farm. So, that hopefully gives you an idea of where we're situated. It's essentially right in the centre of everything I've built. But I'm trying my best to connect everything thoroughly. So this line here isn't really going to be a main line. This is more of a personal line. One used just by Fennec and the new area I'm building. And the new area I'm building is going to be called Litterfall. Because the term Litterfall refers to, well, leaves falling on the floor, which is exactly what Podzol is. So I thought it was a, a cute name for the area. But I've only got basic ideas of how I want to design this area. It's going to be very much off the cuff, just kind of however I feel at the time. I wanted to get this rail in first though, just so I had a nice uh, starting point to work from. And I've also got a bunch of shulker boxes on me full of different types of dirt and such, and also a bunch of other stuff in here with loose ties to blocks I want to use. So before I end up making a shulker monster, I think step one is going to be to make a work shed, somewhere to store all my resources so I don't get overrun with junk. And I don't know where I'm going to put that, because I want to design this area somewhat around a station. So the station is going to have to be accessible from both sides. So unlike 
Stockholm, where the station is sort of just off to the side. I need this to be central. So I'm going to have to find a flat stretch. Maybe here-ish. If I clear out this dirt around here and then put a station. So I'll do this. I'll clear out some area and I will get started on that. I ended up building pretty much everything redstone wise just because I I really struggled with this. I, I don't know why. What I, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but it just did not work. But uh, I've managed to get it all functional. Uh, it's mostly the same design as Stockholm, uh, just mirrored. But also, I've changed the ticket system because over at Stockholm, I've got the big basin of water you throw the tickets into. But All right. Uh, yeah, I just got a big base and I throw tickets into. But for this one, since this isn't going to be like a, a a real major place, I figured I only need like tickets to go to very specific stations. So I've already put in three signs, uh, being Fennec for that direction, Stockholm for that direction, and Lower Spawn for that direction. Uh, it is. It, this is the bit that was the trouble. <laughs> Because I've been trying to compact it down and make it fit, and it's a bit weird. But basically, I've got the uh, rail set up. So depend. Let's f let's do a demonstration of if you were entering the place. Let's get a, a couple of minecarts. So if you, whenever you enter, let's go from here. Just put in like that, that, that. The first minecart will go through to the system, and then these ones will send you around here into here. And then if you do the same thing on this side. Like so. So no matter which way you're coming from, you will always end up on uh, one of these slots. That's just, uh, yeah, so that was one issue which I solved was some real spaghetti redstone. Like, look at the mess down here. It's, it's it's not perfect, but it's functional, and that's good enough for me. Oh, God. Uh, so, then, over here, if you want another piece of sleep as well, because I've not lit this area up yet. Oh, yeah, I've also got my little, uh, my little work shed, as this is where I'm keeping all the materials for the project. Somewhat organised. Uh, I didn't really give any space for the shulker boxes, so that's an uh, oversight, but, you know, anyway. So, here, to actually leave the loop, if you don't do anything, this happens. So you'll go out this side by default. But if you want to go the other direction, well, if you want to go to Fennec, you have to go that direction. So you have to basically switch the rails. So what I've got to set to do is turn this uh, rail around and turn this rail around. So let's try that again. Whee. And then you go over this pressure plate, which... Uh, no, no. Get back here. Get back here. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, so that bit was uh, annoying, but it's sorted. And then for these two, I needed to have it so it would drop two tickets. So for Stockholm, you need to have a ticket that makes you go right, and then you need the actual station ticket. And then lower spawn, you need to go left. And then once you get to center, you'll turn right, and then you get to lower spawn. Now, that's easy enough to do when you're just using a barrel, but for this, what I've done is put some redstone behind here, and it throws it up into a water stream up there, and then it throws it into here and sends out a minecart. So, if I press Stockholm, give it a second, get yourself all sorted on your thing, it will come out. There we go. And there we go. See? And then you can just head off to your destination. Um, right now it's manual for re restocking tickets, because I don't think I'll be working my way through all of them that quickly. Like, I've got about a stack of each, and I can increase that more once I've got more paper. But yeah, so, the functionality of this is now done. I now need to make it look not disgusting. Uh, easier said than done.
exterior of the station is now done. Uh, I'm really happy with it, and we can now carry on with the next bit, which is this cancerous blob over here. So this is the, a bunch of redstone that's just sort of sticking out of the side like so, and I didn't really know how to, you know, not have this. So what I've done is rather than putting a building around it, I've put this big dirt mound. And if you can kind of tell from the shape, this is going to be a big tree log that's sort of like fallen over the side of it. Right now it's dirt because I didn't have enough wood, but I've gone out and collected some. So, yeah, I, I've i never built a big log before, but I've got the shape down. So I'm going to replace all this with uh, logs and then I'll do some texturing. But uh, I'm pretty... Interested to see how this is going to look. I've chosen oak logs just so it contrasts with all the spruce around here. Don't ask where the oak log came from. <laughs> like, where the, the massive tree this log came from is now. Well, obviously it's here, but like where it was originally. <laughs> but now for the fun bit of replacing every bit of dirt. Okay, the log is mostly finished now. It's all textured on the inside, and I've done some, like gashes in it to make it look like there's wood poking through and then on the far end it's just sort of going into a little cavey area uh i might actually bring this wood out here a bit just to make it look more i don't know do that and then that, that. sure let's see how that looks yep that's nice Okay, there's one more step to this that I think I might do, which is going to be adding some moss to it. Because right now it is just one big block of wood. It's got a good shape to it, it's just lacking in texture on like the top and the sides and stuff. So, I don't know if I have any moss. Uh, two moss blocks, I don't think that's going to cover it. Need to go collect some, I guess. I found a cave and it's just full of mobs it's directly beneath the uh, literal station. Oh god, there's loads of zombies. these. Probably shouldn't have killed that villager. Oh well, I can transfer some over to some point. Just, oh my god. Ah. Well, I found, I found moss. Let's uh, run around trying to light up this. Ah. Oh god, I'm taking some damage. I'm a bit uh, riddled with arrows, but I got some moss, so let's see how texturing this is going to work. Honestly, I don't think I even need this much moss, there's more the carpets I wanted, because if I just go on top of here and just kind of start placing carpets around, and then anywhere that has a block underneath I'll change to be moss, like an actual moss block. So if I do like this, hang on. let's change all these to moss blocks for now. It's nice to be able to work in the colour green. Stockholm is very much not green, and it is very limiting not to be able to use like grass at all. Since there's so many green foliage stuff. Okay, uh, let's see how this looks. So from above, I think it looks pretty decent. Let's see how it looks from below. I think I need to go a bit more in with the moss, like, yeah. Let's change the... I have no idea what I'm doing. It's it's just about seeing what feels right, you know? <laughs> okay. It's also lovely using blocks of Minecraft for their, like, intended purpose. This Stockholm is made out of concrete powder. Okay, that can't be moss because that's the interior bit. There we go. I quite like that actually. I don't usually build in like organics like this, but I quite like it. I think it's come out quite nicely. We. Hey, and I think that's where I'm going to call it. You can't even see it because of this shed. The shed's not going to stay here. That's just. Uh... For while I'm working on the project, eventually I'll actually make a storage, like a storehouse. But this is just the entrance to the litter fall. We haven't even gotten to the actual 
uh, the actual <laughs> area yet. Yep, all this was just so I could make it uh, possible for me to go back and forth between Stockholm. And that is now possible. So, in the next episode, we will expand this area a bit more and actually try and get in a tree farm. Because I had to go out to a forest to clear out a bunch to get some oak wood because I ran out. So I had to go farm wood to make a wood farming area. Yeah, I think I need to get a tree farm soon. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.